Yo guys, what is going on? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. Before we start off, I just wanted to thank you guys. You guys have been absolutely killing it with the videos and the likes and just absolutely everything. The channel is doing great. Uh, I had a really great month, probably my best month in the last six months. So just thank you guys for being so awesome. But with that being said, today we have another banger of a video. So we always do kind of top five gadgets, top five brawlers, top 10 brawlers, you know, etc, etc. But we haven't really done a bottom five brawlers in the game. So today, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to show you guys the worst five brawlers in Brawl Stars. And also show you guys a few honorable mentions. So with that being said, let's hop into the video and let's get right into it. So our first honorable mention is going to be BB. Now, I actually really like BB. Um, it is one of my favorite brawlers in the game, but unfortunately she's just in a really bad spot right now. So a lot of brawlers like Piper, for example, who aren't really you know necessarily amazing at all modes they do have their niche they do have their mode where they are really really good in such as bounty or bull he's not very good but he's pretty good in siege or heist bb just doesn't really have that type of mode where she's just that's her meta that's where she's good at she's kind of just got to scrap by and survive on like brawl ball or some heist maps some siege maps she'll be good at one or a couple but it's just it's really not her thing you know, when BB is in meta, she is one of the best brawlers in the game because you can play her in a lot of different modes. But right now, when it's just a weak brawler, it really isn't doing much. Now, the gadget is pretty good, and I can see the gadget getting buffed or BB getting buffed and it turning right back into a strong brawler that's back in the meta. But right now, BB just isn't it, and it's going to be our first honorable mention. So our next honorable mention is going to be Jesse. Now, I would have put Jesse in our bottom five list, and it probably could have been the second worst, maybe even the worst brawler in the game. But the gadget's actually really, really strong. The gadget... Plus the star power with the turrets is actually very good. Now it's not a top 10 gadget. Maybe if Jesse was more in the meta, it could be a top 10 gadget. But right now it's more of like a 15-ish gadget in the game. It does make Jesse fairly useful to be fair. So I'm pretty happy about the fact that, well not fairly useful, like kind of decent. So I'm happy the gadget does make Jesse somewhat playable now. But it's still not as good as it should be to bring Jesse back in the meta. Um, now she is a decent mid. She does at least have her spots as a mid or she's pretty decent in Brawl Ball. But... Unfortunately, she doesn't really have her really shining spot anywhere and that's why we're going to put her as an honorable mention. Now, Jesse is a brawler that I would like to see someone in the meta because I do kind of like turreted brawlers. Um, I do like Jesse's kind of play style and her shot, how it can bounce. I like her star powers and her gadget, but unfortunately right now, Jesse's just not even closely good enough and it's going to be our second honorable mention. Coming in with our last honorable mention, we have none other than Bo. Now, Bo is kind of just, you know, your average brawler. And that's the issue here. Bo is just basically completely average. You know, he's, he could play lane if you want him to. He can play mid if you want him to. I suppose he can be a brawl ball, you know, lane or a brawl ball mid. Or he can even play heist. He can even play siege, I guess, because he's decent at siege. But he's just, again, he's not really niche anywhere. He's not really amazing anywhere. His gadget, although in theory, is pretty good. It's way too small, way too weak, and it just doesn't help you out too, too much. As you guys can see, like, we just have to stand in the back of the map if we wanted to use it. Or if we bring it up, it's just going to be taken down in one shot. So, again, just kind of an average brawler who doesn't really shine anywhere. And that's basically a trend you're going to see with these honorable mentions. Just kind of average brawlers, but not really that great anywhere. Now, again, I would like to see Bo in the meta. The annoying thing about Bo, obviously, is the mines. The mines being one of kind of like the best supers in the game where it kind of has some really good area denial. It would be an annoying brawler to be in the meta, but it also would be a really good one and a really cool one since it's been a while since we've seen, seen Bo in the meta. It's actually been since beta, since Bo has really been in the meta, so it would be cool to see him get back there. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to be there. I think he's going to be in the one, one of the worst brawlers probably in Brawl Stars history just because of the complete averageness he has. But that's going to be it for our honorable mention. So with that being said, let's hop into the top five and let's show you guys what the number five worst brawler in Brawl Stars is. So the number five worst brawler in Brawl Stars, unfortunately, is going to be Mortis. Now, Mortis, I absolutely love him. So do you guys. Mortis is one of the funnest brawlers to play in the game. Um, he's super fun on Brawl Ball, super agile, has a lot of cool moves, and you can be really explosive with him, which is why he's actually not at the bottom of this list. But to be frank, he just gets, he just gets absolutely countered by like... 65 percent of the brawlers in the game probably like 20 of the brawlers he just gets absolutely countered by and can never beat you have to be a pretty good mortis to make him work in brawl Ball, which is like the only mode where he can work outside of uh bounty and he just is like the worst brawler in the game in like three of the modes being siege perhaps like duo showdown and solo showdown and heist so just don't play mortis really anywhere to be honest you can push him in some spots he's actually pretty decent at bounty 
but i mean he's just not that great his gadget's okay um as you guys can see it's kind of just like an additional shot almost that kind of just like swirls but it doesn't really charge super it doesn't really do too much for you so he's going to be the number five spot for today and this is going to be our number five brawler or our number five worst brawler in the current meta now coming in at number four we have shelly now shelly just like mortis kind of gets countered by like 75 percent of the game now the other people that shelly doesn't counter are people that shelly counters such as tanks or even the bb that we're going up against bb isn't really a hard counter but it's a decent one and Shelly is really good if you can make her work, just like Mortis. And you guys see really skilled Mortis players. If you guys have ever seen Toma play Shelly, Toma's an absolute beast. You'll see him walking around 1v3 and doing crazy things. But that's pretty rare. And when I'm ranking Brawlers, I mean, Shelly's pretty easy to, like, solo showdown. And a lot of people get Shelly 500 first. They say, oh, Shelly's my first 500 Brawler. But to be honest, Shelly's just really not that good. Does get countered a lot. You can't really use Shelly in competitive. Um, he, Shelly was the strongest Brawler when Band-Aid was meta. But ever since Band-Aid hasn't been meta, Shelly just has been completely taken out of the competitive meta, rarely used in anything. And you guys can even see there, I got taken out by a Mortis, that was pretty bad. Um, but yeah, Shelly gets countered by like 75% of the Brawlers, doesn't have the greatest range, isn't really that great in multiple modes, only really good in about like two or three. So that is why we're going to put Shelly at number four on this list. And with that being said, let's move into the top three and let's show you guys the third worst brawler in Brawl Stars. Coming in at number three, we have Colt. Now Colt, just like Shelly and just like Mortis, can make plays and is pretty explosive. Colt is probably the highest skill cap brawler in the game, um, along with Dynamite. And that's just because if you're going in with Colt, you are team wiping, scoring goals, running around the map, doing insane amount of damage that you can't do with any other brawler. The issue is there's about five to six players in all of Brawl Stars who can do that consistently, and that's in ladder. You never see Colt in competitive. I haven't seen Colt in competitive since Kaboom Canyon was a map. Shout out to all of you guys that remember Kaboom Canyon. He just isn't at all competitive, um, can be used in competitive. He's not a stable brawler against good players. Good players can juke Colt pretty easily. And it's just really not something that's good. Colt's pretty decent in Brawl Ball, can be used in Siege, can be used in Heist, but I mean, He's bottom half in every single mode in the game. Not very good. The only mode that he was good in was takedown, if you guys remember takedown. But now that that's out of the game, Colt really just isn't good anywhere. And there's really no reason to not put him in the bottom five. He's just not cutting it at all. Hopefully he gets a buff, because if he does, I think he's going to be one of the best brawlers in the game and one of definitely the most fun brawler in the game. But as of right now, he's going to be our number three worst brawler in the current meta. Now, coming in at number two, we have my boy, El Primo. Now, this gameplay is going to be a little bit deceiving because I'm kind of going to pop off in this game. Now, I literally just recorded one game on every brawler. So, you guys just saw kind of like just like average gameplay or just like typical gameplay. But Primo can be really good. Now, he's got a super fun gadget. You guys just saw me throw Atara into our net. Primo can be good if you know how to use him. Just like the other three brawlers that I listed in this bottom five, he can pop off. He can be really good. He does have a lot of HP, but he is bottom half in basically every single mode in the game. The only exception is he might be middle class at Brawl Ball. But he just isn't a good brawler, isn't well-rounded. He can make plays like the one I just made, but he's not consistent at all. You guys can go many games without even getting a Primo Super if the other team is playing it properly. He's just not a very good brawler. Isn't explosive. Well, he is explosive, but he isn't explosive in multiple modes. Only really in Brawl Ball. Is it usable in multiple modes? Only really in Brawl Ball and maybe Siege if you want to play Siege. And he's probably the worst brawler in like another two modes. So that is why he's going to be number two on our list. And let's move on to the number one worst brawler in Brawl Stars. Now coming in at number one, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Dynamite. Now I'm sorry, Lukey Bear, if you're watching this video. I'm sorry to all of you Dynamite one trick jumper mains that are in love with Dynamite because I'm also in love with Dynamite. Maybe not as much as you guys, but he is definitely one of my favorite brawlers in the game. But he... He's just not good at all, and his gadget is the worst gadget in the game. Now, he probably is one of the more fun brawlers to play. I can definitely give you guys that, and he's actually not that bad in Heist and Siege, and he can be used any anywhere by good players, but if you're just talking about the average player or even somebody in the 20th percentile, Dynamite is going to be the worst brawler most likely that they have and the hardest for them to push. I mean, it's just very, in, in, it's just a very inconsistent brawler. Doesn't have too much range for a thrower. Doesn't have a lot of HP. Doesn't have, you know, a really, you know, great mechanical system. Is pretty easy to juke if someone actually tries to juke. 
And to be honest, if you don't have star power with Dynamite, it is without question the worst brawler in the game. Now, it's actually not terrible. Again, it's explosive like all the other brawlers that I made on this list. The honorable mentions were more just brawlers that don't really have a place, can't really, you know, explode or make great plays. Dynamite can do that. I was just kind of fooling around here, so definitely don't spin if someone's right beside you. Um, but Dynamite can't do that. He's not really a good brawler. Again, he could 3v1 if you're playing, if you're one of the five or six people who are really good with Dynamite, but that's just not everyone. He's not a very good brawler. In fact, he is currently the worst brawler in Brawl Stars, and that is going to end my list. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Uh, you guys have been killing it as of late, so thank you so much. But anyways, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. If not, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Either way, that's going to be it for me today. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.